In today's video, I'm going over my top niches to self-publish books in for quarter two on Amazon. What is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Dane and if you're new here on this channel, I talk all about self-publishing books on Amazon, on entrepreneurship and just lifestyle in general. So if that kind of thing interests you, make sure you subscribe, drop a like on the video and hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Um, just so you know, before I get into this, the sun is going crazy today and I use natural lighting. So I don't know, the lighting is probably all over the place, but if it starts annoying you, that's why. Anyways, you already saw the intro, but for this video, we're gonna be talking about my top niches for you to self-publish your books in for quarter two of this year, okay? And last year during quarter two, I actually had a very good time on Amazon. And lots of people say that during like quarter two and especially moving into quarter three of the year, Kindle Direct Publishing tends to die out and it starts to slow down. But to be honest with you, if you're looking to make a lot of money, quarter two is actually a very good time of the year to be publishing books on Amazon. And I'm gonna be showing you why in just a sec with all these niches, okay? So without further ado, let's show them on my computer and I'll show you these niches. Okay, so we're on my computer here now. As you can see, I'm gonna show you my sales from last year during April just to prove to you that I actually had a pretty good time self-publishing books through KDP. And this isn't even talking about audiobooks, this is just eBooks and paperback books during the month of April last year, okay? So first things first, these are my sales from April last year. This is an extension called Data Sprout. It shows you all of your data, I guess, when you're with your sales because the Amazon KDP dashboard isn't very great. And I can't go back this far on the KDP dashboard. I can only go back this far on Data Sprout for some reason. So as you can see, $9,290 in royalties during the month of April last year, which is the first month of quarter two. So yes, you can make $10,000 in a single month publishing in quarter two, it doesn't have to be quarter four, okay? That's what I'm trying to get across here. And I think it's getting really bright. I uh, know we're doing okay. Just wanna prove that to you, so you have an idea, you can do this, give you some motivation, give you some inspiration, cause you can do this, all right? So anyways, let's move into the niches for quarter two that I suggest you get into right now. Cause it's February right now, and it's the perfect time to start making these books and getting them ready for April, May, and June. And before we get into it, no particular order, just so you know, like there's no top one here, I just wanna, Make sure that's clear. So first things first, Easter books, all right? Easter is in April, it's coming up the soonest when it comes to quarter quarter two. Uh, right now it's February, so it's still Q1, but it's the soonest one that pops up in uh, Q2. And this is mainly these niches you're gonna find are seasonal and uh, holiday based, but that's because it's during quarter two and those are the things that fall in that time of the year. And Easter books are absolutely no exception. If you can make some Easter books and publish those guys onto KDP um, and run some ads to them and get them going around the middle of March, you're gonna be doing quite well as you move into April with people getting Easter books for their kids. And here's some examples. You can do like kids books, games books for kids, jokes for kids. Uh, stories that are based around Easter, Easter bunny stuff, Easter egg stuff, I don't know, coloring activities, all these kinds of things that you can make books about, you should when it comes to Easter, okay? I know I'm making a bunch right now, so I'm getting them ready for that seasonal niche. Okay, so I'm on Amazon here, I just wanna show you guys some examples. So if I look up Easter in the search bar, make sure I'm in books there. I'm gonna search Easter and you'll see a bunch of things pop up, coloring books, egg coloring book, notebook, uh, coloring book for adults even, so you can even make an Easter book for adults that's coloring, um, tons of, in demand niches that are gonna be even more in demand when uh, the middle of March rolls around and April comes into play. Moving into niche number two here, and these are Father's Day books. And this is at the very end of, Q, of Q2 um, in June, all right? But these books can do very well. And there's tons of different Father's Day style books that you can make that can make you a lot of money during Q2, okay? So stuff like obviously dad stuff, sports books, uh, joke books, even workout books. I didn't put that on here, but workout books can work out well for a Father's Day, kind of a Father's Day present. That's what you gotta think about it. It's a, it's a present from the wife or the kids going to the father. So it doesn't have to be like a Father's Day book, just something that a dad would like to have as a gift for Father's Day. Journals, stories, that kind of stuff, okay? If I search in the Amazon search bar, let's take a look. Father's Day notebook. If I look up dad though, we got dad jokes. Uh, let me refresh this because I think I've already searched this and it's... Okay, here we go. Dad jokes, dad journal, dad notebook, dad I wrote you, dad story stuff, okay? Like I just said, basically anything that you could gift to your dad 
would be a good book idea for June this year. Next on the list, this one's probably pretty obvious because I just talked about Father's Day, but Mother's Day is also a very profitable niche to get into for quarter two. So these kind of books, mom stuff, obviously. So like poems, jokes, you could also do mom jokes. It's totally fine. Journals, stories, coloring books, okay? Coloring books are actually a big one when it comes to Mother's Day, all right? And there's tons of other activity style books you can make based around Mother's Day, but coloring books being the biggest one. When I type it into Amazon here, let's see what it looks like. Mom notebook, journal, planner, tons of other ideas that you can look into. Let's look at Mother's Day. Oops, Mother's Day. Mother's Day word search, Mother's Day notebook, okay? Tons of books you can make. And for personal experience, I know that Mother's Day books do very well during the time that Mother's Day is going on in May on KDP, okay? Another very profitable and high potential style niche to get into for quarter two. And finally, I got the bonus niche here, okay? And there's actually two here. We got Earth Day style books and summer themed books, summer activity books, okay? First, let's talk about Earth Day though. So Earth Day is actually in April. So it's actually, I think it's at the end of April, around April 20th, 30th area. I'm not 100% sure on the date. Um, but you can make Earth Day jokes, stories, kids stuff, Earth Day coloring book, nature coloring book, and target Earth Day as a keyword on KDP. Trust me, there are people looking for Earth Day style books around that holiday. So for the first half of April, that's when they're gonna be looking for them and buying them. So make sure you have a book ready for then just to take advantage of this niche, okay? It's not a big niche like Easter or Father's or Mother's Day, but you can still take advantage of it and make some money off of it. And also summer style books, okay? So summer stuff would be like gardening, outdoors, sports and fitness, okay? And the reason I'm putting summer here in Q2 is because you wanna prepare these books during Q2 and get them ready for the summer months. So May, June, July, August. Get those books ready because they're gonna sell during that time. You don't wanna be caught like flat-footed and making a summer book in the middle of July. You want it ready for July. So it's ready, it's launched, it's ranking. So you can get it ready for sales during those months. So let's look up Earth Day on here. I'm pretty sure stuff pops up for Earth Day if I refresh the page here. Um, let's look up Earth. Earth Science, I think Earth Day Coloring Book, yeah. So this Earth Day Coloring Book, obviously, like I said, it's not as big as a niche as the other ones I've talked about, but it is a niche that has potential for you to get into, okay? And you can do nature style books, Earth Day Coloring Book, you do a bunch of like country coloring books or something and take advantage of that time of year when the search queries are higher for Earth and Earth Day. And the other one <clears throat> would be summer. Like I talked about, I look up summer, we got summer coloring book summer journal, summer notebook, summer write journal for kids, okay? There's tons of different summer things you can make books about, but that's not the only thing. What I've done here is I've gone on Google and I've searched up like summer activities and you can make books based around these kinds of activities or you can make a book that's like 68 fun summer activities. And obviously don't copy this page. You wanna look at other sources and compile a list of like 100 summer activities, but you can make a book for that for like kids, summer activities for kids, something like that. Get that ready for summer. Um, but sites like these are super useful. You can make a book that is um, all about how to make homemade ice cream. I'm sure that's a keyword on Amazon. I don't know how much in demand it is, but this is just an example as you can see on here. If I go next, you can see build the, sh the shed. So you could do shed building or something on Amazon. Tons of ideas for keywords just from this little thing. Picnic ideas, sunflower stuff. I don't know. But this just gives you an idea of different niches you could target that are summer themed that people might be searching for during the summer months, okay? So those kind of things could work out well for summer books to make during Q2 and get them ready for May, June, July, on August. Anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. Those are my top niches for you to get into and start publishing books in for quarter two of 2021. Hopefully you liked them. If you have any other ideas that you wanna drop in the comment section down below, let me know what you thought. Uh, let me know if you have any books in these niches and if you don't, you better start making them made because they gotta be ready for around mid-March to the beginning of April because that's when quarter two begins, okay? So get those books ready, get them going. And if you wanna learn more about publishing and how to get your first book self-published onto Amazon, you can click the link down in the description. It'll take you to a free class. It's gonna take you through all the different things that I put into my publishing business, walk you through A to Z, how to get started. And yes, 100% free, I'll walk you through there. You can click the link down below if you wanna learn more. That's pretty much it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on it, hit subscribe down below and turn on the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Try to post new videos once a week. Um, next week, I might not be able to, but I'm gonna try my best. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you.